Uh, this is the highest award that the district attorney bestows uh, on uh, a law enforcement officer, and it is truly fitting. Uh, before giving this award, we will consult with uh, a committee of, uh, of distinguished law enforcement officers, chiefs of police, and other, uh, other law enforcement officers, and it is unanimous in their judgment that these two officers deserve the district attorney's highest award, the Medal of Valor, for their conduct on October 14, 2019, as uh, Representative Happy said, in saving this woman's life and in putting their own lives at risk in so doing. Uh, it was uh, true heroism what they did in responding to what appeared to be a routine burglary call and in entering that house uh, and uh, exposing themselves uh, to gunfire. Uh, I can't, you can't really give enough and say enough how wonderful they did and saved that young lady's life. These were incredible acts of valor on both their parts. Uh, they went into a situation that was not expected to be uh, a life-threatening situation and they performed uh, with true valor, both of them. And uh, that we have to recognize that and that's what we're doing tonight. Well, we, we have uh, incredible officers throughout this county. These two officers exemplify uh, the, the incredible officers that we have throughout this community. What they did on that uh, evening, though, went above and beyond uh, anything that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. But these are these exemplify the true professionalism we have among police in Dauphin County. And uh, Officer Shea, thank you for your heroism and also dedication to this Commonwealth. And on behalf of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, House of Representatives, and myself, I'd like to present you with a certificate and this flag on the Capitol. Officer Malat, thank you for your heroism. Thank you. thank you to the Commonwealth for your dedication. And I'd also like to thank you for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the House of Representatives and myself. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for these awards. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing we can really say to, uh, to show our gratitude for, for these. We're, you know, we're just here doing uh, our job. So, uh, so I got to thank you very much. But then, um, we do appreciate all the support that we've gotten from the community, our family, um, from everybody that has supported us. It's been a huge help through everything. I'm glad that it turned out the way that it did. I don't think words can really describe it. I mean, we, we're just doing our job, but at the same time, we're glad that we're being recognized for and for the support from the community. Um, Officer Shea, I know you're back now. What's it like being back on the force? It's great. It's like, like I didn't leave, kind of. Is your is your bond stronger now between you two since I think what so. you guys went through? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. yeah. You know, and I think that's the one of the most incredible parts is that Officer Malat put himself between uh, the gunman and Officer Shea as they as they moved out, and then Officer Shea, you know, uh, coming to the rescue of this young woman. Both these officers coming to the rescue of this woman, uh, true valor.